So you may remember this heirloom from the original Breakout launch trailer, and since we saw this, a lot of people have been theorizing about how it's going to be brought to the game. And originally, people were theorizing that this was going to be a free heirloom that you can buy add-ons to. And it turns out, it could be a free heirloom, but you'd have to be very lucky it seems. Because according to Crowrindo, this heirloom is going to be sold in not a collection event, but whatever in the world the Final Fantasy event was, where there's 36 packs and you basically have to gamble to get any single skin you want. From what I'm gathering from Crowrindo's tweet, you will be able to earn this heirloom much like you earned Final Fantasy Sword, where you have a random chance when buying any single pack for the heirloom to drop to you. So you could get it on your first pack or your 36th pack. So it it could be free, you just have to be very lucky. Also, according to Crowindo, this heirloom is going to have customizable features, much like Fade's heirloom from Apex Mobile, where you can swap out certain parts on it. But you have to buy the customizable features separately, and apparently, to get the heirloom in the first place and also get all of the features on it, it could cost up to $700. But take this all with a grain of salt because nothing is confirmed yet i just kind of want to warn you about the situation we don't actually know how much the customization parts are going to cost or what they're going to cost whether it's going to cost you 50 heirloom shards to buy a new blade for it or it's going to cost you 5,000 apex coins to buy a new blade once again we'll have to wait and see with that aspect we can see from a trailer that the handle has a skull on it and also it has a blue blade so i would imagine the blade is going to be customizable and also the handle and i'd imagine the colors will be customizable as well if we look back to the fade air it will likely be very, very similar to that. I think it was unfortunately just a matter of time until this type of event made its way back to Apex because EA did have two of the highest earning days when the Final Fantasy event was active. So clearly they do sell quite well, even though people hate them. Although do remember what a developer literally said, if you don't like something, vote with your wallet and also verbally. Although once again, I must say this is all a rumor right now and the Ellen could come out and it could be free or something. So this is all a rumor, but it's from a very reliable source, so yeah. But would you spend up to $700 to get an heirloom and subscribe?